We've survived the worst of the spring break season here at Universal, which means it's April, but that doesn't mean that the crowds are gone. So in today's video, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know if you're headed to the Universal Orlando Resort this month, starting with Mardi Gras coming to an end. April 7th is the last day to experience Mardi Gras in the park. So all the way through the 7th, you can see the parade, the tribute store, all the food. But after the 7th, it's like it never existed. Uh, but before Mardi Gras ends, if you are gonna be here during that time, you have a great opportunity to save yourself some money. Y'all know we love sharing our favorite money saving tips and tricks. And the Mardi Gras food and beverage cards are one of the best ways to do that. Those will go away with Mardi Gras, but if you're here before it ends, you can purchase as many of them as you'd like. And the great thing about these food and beverage cards is that they never expire and they're good at all three parks and city walk. So if you have another trip coming up, maybe for HHN or the holidays or even next year, you can go ahead and purchase these cards at a discount. And then when you come back, your food is prepaid for. So it's like it's free. It's girl math, theme park math. Another little tip that doesn't always work, but it's something to keep an eye out for is that at the end of a seasonal event like Mardi Gras, if they still have a bunch of merch left over, they'll discount it a lot of the time. So if there's something that you're really, really wanting, go ahead and buy it just so they don't like run out of your size in it. But if you're here the last couple days, you can head into the tribute store and probably get some stuff on deep discount. Hello. By my entrance, you may be thinking, wow, he's got something exciting to talk about. Nope, just crowds. So in April, the first week of April, you have Easter and it is still spring break season down here in Florida. So it's gonna be busy. Pack your patient pants. That bird is extremely loud. Pack your patient pants and apparently some earbuds. Oh, it's looking at our food, Anna. It's oh, looking at our food. Oh. It'll, be, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. But the rest of the month, not really that busy. I mean, there'll be people here. It's April, it's beautiful weather. It's like the last month before it gets just unbearably hot down here. So there's gonna be people around enjoying the parks. But if you're not coming the first week, the crowd should be manageable. So something kind of crowd adjacent that affects how busy the parks are on certain nights in April is an event called Grad Bash. So Grad Bash is a really cool thing that Universal does where they invite graduating seniors from school systems in the Central Florida area where they get to come and hang out and have an awesome night at the parks before they graduate. I am so jealous of this because when we graduated, we got like a bounce house and I think they gave away some microwaves for like your dorm room. For these seniors, this is so cool. For everybody else that's gonna be here, it's kind of uncool because the parks close early. So Grad Bash is happening on April 12th, 13th, 19th, 20th, and 26th. And on all five of those days, both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure will be closing at 6 p.m. Uh, but to make up for that, both parks are opening an hour earlier. So they typically open at nine in the morning, but they'll be open to all guests at 8 a.m. to kind of help make up for that. Um, if you are here on one of those days, we totally get that it's kind of frustrating when the parks close early. But what we like to do on those nights is just get a dinner reservation for somewhere in City Walk or one of the hotels and turn in early and get some extra sleep for the next morning. As far as park hours the rest of the month go, it's gonna be your typical parks open at nine in the morning and then they close anywhere between seven and nine at night, just depending on the day, the day of the week and how busy it is. And as far as Volcano Bay goes, that park is going to open at 10 a.m. and close between six and seven every night. Hello, the way I entered, you once again may be thinking I have something exciting to talk about, but I don't. This time it is just EPA. So early park admission, it is here at Islands of Adventure, like always, I don't know if it's ever gonna not be at Islands of Adventure at this point, but it's here all month long, starting at eight o'clock, except for on those grad bash dates. Uh, those dates that Anna mentioned earlier, it starts at seven on those mornings. And then if you're headed to the water park, it is a great time of year to start doing that. It is warming up here in central Florida. Volcano Bay opens at 9.30 every morning for EPA. So we've come to the part of the video where we talk about closures and there's really not much on the list for this month. So here in Seuss Landing, there is one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, which is closing the 27th of April. So it really doesn't affect you for most of the month. And then back in Hogsmeade, the Castle Light Show. They haven't said it's closing, but they also haven't said when it's returning or if it's returning. I fully expect it to return, but we have no updates on it. And speaking of the wizarding world, we've got something we need to show you back there. Hello, 
you may be thinking the way that I entered, I have something exciting to talk about. This time I actually do. Uh, so it's butterbeer season, sort of. So about, a, I don't know, two weeks ago, Universal announced that from now until the end of April is butterbeer season. And with that, they introduced two new butterbeer flavored treats. So you've got the caramels and um, a popsicle or an ice lolly. There's one problem. We haven't seen the ice lolly and apparently no one else has. So I'm not really sure if that exists, but when there's new butterbeer stuff, we're gonna try. So a couple of months ago, we said that we were gonna start a segment in these videos where we told you something to eat when you visit. And of course, the butterbeer, like if it's butterbeer season, you gotta get something butterbeer. And this is good. It reminds me of a zero bar. I don't know if it's the white chocolate. I don't know something about it. If you've ever had a zero bar, it reminds me of that. And I would love to give you a review of the popsicle. But until we decide that the popsicle exists, I cannot do that. If you're wanting to try the butterbeer caramel, you can get it at either of the candy stores in the Wizarding World. So here in Islands of Adventure, that's gonna be Honey Dukes and Hogsmeade. And then at Studios, that'll be in Sugar Plums. Uh, so after our pass holder discount, it was about $5, it was a little bit under that. Um, if you guys find the ice lolly somewhere, please let us know because we want to try the ice lolly, like really bad. <laughs> couple other really important things. The first one has to do with Halloween Horror Nights. So Universal has not yet made an announcement about when tickets are going to go on sale or when they're going to announce dates for this year's event. But historically, this is the time of year that they do that. I believe by this time last year, single night tickets were already on sale. So we would fully expect at least some kind of announcement regarding that stuff by the end of April. Uh, another thing is block out dates. If you have a season pass, you are currently blocked out of all three parks and that doesn't end until April 6th. There are two other things that have come to an end at Universal and the first one is package pickup. So you used to be able to, if you were at the parks and you purchased something, you could send it to the Universal store in CityWalk where you could pick it up at the end of the day so you didn't have to carry it around all day. You can no longer do that. But if you are staying at one of the on-site hotels, you can still have stuff sent back to your room. And then the other thing that has ended is the monster makeover. So this was scheduled to end, I believe it was on April 7th, uh, but it ended like last week. Universal decided to close it early for some reason. So if you're hoping to do the monster makeover, that is no longer available. If you're looking for more vacation planning tips and tricks before you head to the parks, you can sign up for our email list. Keep up to date with everything we do by scanning this QR code right here or clicking the link in the description below. You should also click this video right here because YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy it and let us know if they're right or not. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.